Hey you, yes you. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. It's free. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or your computer, guys. Anchor will also distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and so many more platforms. Guys, you can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast. So simple and so easy in one place. Download the free Anchor app today, guys, or go to anchor.fm to get started. Hey, Divine Ones, I have a question for you. How bad do you want it? I mean, really, though, how bad do you really want it? I'm talking about your dreams. I'm talking about your goals. I'm talking about your vision. That's right. The vision that God gave you. The vision that he allowed you to see. I don't care who you are. I don't care what walk of life you are from. Everybody has an imagination. And we all have dreams. We all have hopes and plans. Even if your life has become so discouraging that you find yourself not even dreaming anymore, then I come to tell you that you still have the ability to dream. As long as you have a mind, as long as you have a working brain, you have the ability to dream, okay? Your imagination is a gift that God has given you. It is a gift. And God gives you the preview to things that are to come through your imagination. God has shown you some things. There are some of you guys that are listening to this podcast. God has shown you some things, okay? He has gave you a glimpse into your future. He has gave you a glimpse into the things that are to come, the things that he desires to bless you with. But God has a question for you, okay? Hear me, loves, and hear me well. God has a question for you. He said, how bad do you want it? Do you want it bad enough to miss sleep for it? (laughs) Y'all know we love our sleep now. We love our sleep. Uh Uh-uh. No, I got to get my eight hours. (laughs) Some of us get 12 hours. (laughs) But yes, we love our sleep. Mm -mm. We all for the dream until it comes, until it comes in between our sleep patterns. Mm Mm-hmm. Some of us are all for the dream as long as it doesn't come in between us and our plates. <laughs> okay. I have struggled with this one. Your girl has struggled with turning down a plate. Okay. Sometimes the dream, the vision requires you to turn down a couple of plates. It requires you to lose sleep. The vision will require you to drop some people out of your life. Woo. Now that's a big one for some people. A lot of people They have a problem with being alone. They have a problem with being by themselves. And most people, well, I won't say most people, but there's a couple of people out there in the world. They're out there in the world and they seem to think that they must have a group or they must have a flock of people with them in order to feel validated, in order to feel important about themselves. Okay. Some got some of some people do other things in order to feel validated. Whatever it is, first and foremost, you should not be doing anything for validation because you must know that you validate yourself and God validates you. Therefore you need no validation from man. Okay. But yes, God is asking you guys a question. How bad do you want it? As I said, You will have to lose sleep for the vision. If you have a vision, you have wrote your vision, you have made it plain. Habakkuk 2 and 2, you have wrote it, you have made it plain. You read it every single day or you read it every chance you get to remind yourself of your purpose and what you are doing in this life. And that is all fine and dandy, but it means absolutely nothing if you're not willing to give up some things. Because I am here to tell you guys that in order for you to get to the vision, Because yes, the Bible does say that that the vision is only for an appointed time, which means that 
And it also says, that even though it tarries, it will surely come. Tarries mean it's taking a long time. So even though it seems that the vision is taking a long time, you must know that it will come to pass. You must know that the things that God showed you are going to come into fruition. They are going to be manifested. Okay. As a matter of fact, they've already been given to you in the spirit realm. That's where your imagination is. It's in the spirit realm. It has already happened in your mind. You're just waiting for it to manifest into reality. But how bad do you want it? I was sitting here, guys, and God just said I wasn't even intending on recording a podcast at this very moment. But see, it's just the way that he speaks to me. When he speaks to me, I have to be obedient. And when he speaks to me, I have to get in motion, okay? Because I know that God is up to something. When he speaks to me and he speaks to me expeditiously, <laughs> okay, my God is up to something. But he wanted me to ask you guys, how bad do you want it? He said, a lot of you guys, you're on your knees, you're praying, you're doing everything that it takes as far as your prayer life. You go to church, you do everything that you need to do. But God said, when it comes time to drop some things out of your life, God says, some of y'all are freezing up on him. Did you hear what I said? God said, a lot of you guys are doing everything that it takes except this one thing. He said, y'all freeze up on him when it comes time to drop those people out of your life. When it comes time to lay that sleep aside. When it comes time to lay that plate to the side. We all for the vision until we got to give up something. Well, I'm here to tell you guys that if you want to get to the vision, if you want the vision to manifest, then you're going to have to give up some things. Some of you guys are trying to be the bag lady. <laughs> you're trying to be the bag lady, trying to get to the vision, being the bag lady. Guys, you're not off the hook either, okay? Some of you guys, some of you men out there, you're being the bag man. You're trying to get to the vision, being the bag man. You cannot get to the vision by being the bag man and the bag lady, okay? You got to drop them bags. You got to drop some stuff. The path and the road to success and greatness and, and abundance and salvation. That road is a very narrow road. That's a very narrow path, meaning that it's very slim, very narrow. You can only fit so much through that path, which means that all of those bags that you are carrying with you, you got to drop them off. You got to drop them off. You cannot... Carry all of those things into your vision. You cannot carry all of those people. Some of you guys have some habits that you got to get rid of. You can't carry those habits into your vision, okay? Some of you guys are wondering why you can't get a breakthrough, why it seems like you can't get to the next level in your life. It's that habit. It is that habit. That habit is about to take you out of here. If you don't drop that habit, it's going to drop you. You got to leave this stuff alone. All of these things, whether it be drugs, alcohol, negative people in your circle, you got to drop these things and run for your life. Literally, guys, you have to know that you are running for your life. This ain't no game out here. This ain't no game. This is your life. So that's why when I speak to you guys, I speak with power and I speak with authority because I know that my God has given me the authority. He's given me the power to speak to you. And I'm telling you guys that you got to drop it. You can't be the bag man and run out the division. You can't be the bag lady and run out the division. You got to drop these things like it's hot. <laughs> drop it like it's hot. Like, what's up? What's good? Drop it. Let it go. Oh, but I mm -mm, let it go. Uh, but we've been friends since. Uh, uh Let it go. God said, let it go. How bad do you want it? How bad do you want it? Are you willing to give up some people? Are you willing to give up some relationships? Oops. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> I got to give up, babe. God said, sorry. Everybody can't go to the vision with you. Everybody can't get to the promised land with you. Okay? And, and you guys have to understand how important this is to know that everybody can't get into the promised land with you because Moses, if you are a reader of God's word, and I hope you are, you better be, you better be reading that word. Okay. But Moses led the people. He led the children of Israel out of Egypt, 
Okay. He was the, the, he was the one that God chose to lead his people out of captivity. He started the mission, but guess what? He couldn't finish it. He couldn't finish it. God allowed him to see the promised land. He saw the promised land, but he was never able to enter into the promised land. He died before they reached the promised land. And this was the man that God handpicked to deliver his children, but he, he couldn't go in. He couldn't go into the promised land. See, the promised land is your land flowing with milk and honey. It's the land that God has promised you. Your promised land is basically just a mindset, okay? Because you got to get the promised land mindset before you enter into the promised land. Please understand that, guys. You can't wait till you get into the promised land to start feeling blessed and to start feeling abundant and to start feeling happy and loved and, and overjoyed. You got to get a promised land mindset right now. I don't care what type of situation you are in. I don't care if you're in the projects. I don't care if you're in a mansion because some people are in a mansion and they're still not happy, okay? I don't care if you're on a boat. I don't care if you're on a canoe. I don't care if you're on a yacht. Wherever you are, you have to get the mindset, okay? You have to have the mindset of the thing that you desire to have long before you get there. You guys have to have the promised land mindset. And the promised land is simply when you reach the place in your life where you are living in God's abundance. You are living in the overflow. You are living in God's lavish abundance. Okay. Money just flows to you in the promised land. You, you, you get more money in return than you spend. Every time you spend money, money just multiplies. Money just comes back to you. You're successful. Okay. You are prosperous in every area of your life. Whenever, when you get to the promised land, you are successful. You are prosperous in every area of your life, but you got to get there first. You got to get there first, love. How bad do you want it? How bad do you want it? And are you willing to lose sleep for it? Are you willing to turn down the plate for it? Are you willing to walk out on some people for it? Are you willing to drop some people out of your life for it? I come to tell you that if there is anything in your life that you are scared to let go of, then it, it has already left you. <laughs> okay. It's already left you because you got to know that whatever in your life, if it belongs to you, I don't care where you go. I don't care where you go. I don't care what you do. You'll never lose it. It will always find a way to attach itself to you. If it belongs to you and if it's God's will that you have it, then nothing can keep you away from it and nothing can keep it away from you. And that goes for people, places, things, anything. Never be afraid to drop some people and follow God because you will never lose people when you are chasing God. Because when you chase God, God has a way of working out everything for you. When you drop everything to follow him, he has a way of working out everything in your life. You will never lose people by chasing God, but you will lose out on God by chasing behind people. You will lose out on God. If you, if you chase people instead of chasing God, you will lose every single time you will lose. You got to get the mindset to where you tell God, God, I will follow you. I don't care where you take me. I don't care what you tell me. I don't care where I must go. I don't care what I must do. I will follow you, Lord. I will follow you all the days of my life. Because I know that everything that I left behind me to follow him, God, God is back there and God is in my future too. He's, he's everywhere. He's all knowing. He's all powerful. So everything that I had to drop to get to where he needed for me to be, he already worked all of that stuff out. And if it's meant for me, when I get to my future, y'all don't hear me. If it's meant for me, when I get to my destiny, it'll be waiting for me. Jesus. Did you hear what I said? Everything that you had to drop, everything that you had to let go in order to follow God. Y'all don't hear me. Everything that you had to let go to follow God, if it is meant for you, then when you get to your destiny, it will be waiting for you. How bad do you want it? Let that question just sit in your spirit for a while and ask yourself, how bad do I really want it? 
Because I'm going to have to give up some things if I really want this. How bad do you want it? 